Hello, my name is Mayanka. I am account and a finance trainer from Uplex. Today in this class, we will discuss section 170. Section 170 of Income Tax Act. Section 170 of Income Tax Act. Section 159 to section 169 are already covered by us in our previous videos. So kindly refer all the previous videos so that you can understand each and every section which is relating to the which is relating to the in means how we will determine or how we will calculate the liability in some special cases in our previous section we have discussed about the legal representative representative assessee right and the duty of legal representative and assessee representative assessee means we have discussed about these some important points which all are very much relevant in some special cases now in this class we will discuss section 170 section 170 of income tax act liability of successor to the business in the respect of tax chargeable from the predecessor in the case when there is any succession of business there is any succession of business so in the case of succession of business the income will be taxable in the hands of both person in the hands of predecessor as well as successor it will be taxable proportionately it will be taxable proportionately in both the in the hands of both person so how we will determine the portion now we will discuss assessment of assessment of successor or the predecessor assessment of successor or the predecessor when there is a business when there is a person and he is uh, performing the business activity he is carrying out any business or any profession or he is doing any vocation and uh, such business such profession or such a vocation is carried by other person it is carried by other person and such person continue to carry on that business or profession means there is a business which is carried out by a person and such a business is succeeded by another person then such a business is succeeded by the another person then the successor and the predecessor then there are two persons for the example there is a person mr ram and he is engaged engaged in the business of in the business of just like textile he is engaged in the business of textile the business of mr ram is succeed is succeed by mohan it is a succeed by mr mohan and now mr mohan he will continue his textile business now mr mohan he will continue and he will perform the business activities now so mr ram he is the predecessor and mr mohan he is the successor he is the successor so in this case in this case for the example the financial year is for the example 2019 and 20 now the business is succeed the business is succeed on 1st july 2019 it is succeed on 1st july 2019 then the then before success, succession the business of mr ram now it is from now the business of mohan so the income of such business the income of such a profession and the income of such vocation will be taxable in the hands of in the hands of predecessor as well as in the case of successor in in which proportion so when there is any business which is carried on by any other person which is carried by any person and such a business is succeeded by another person who continues to carry on that business or profession then both successor and the person who is succeeded to shall be assessed in the respect of actual share to which he is separately entitled in his income 
profit and gain in the of the previous year means the actual share the actual share will be considered his income the actual share means mr ram he is doing or he is engaged in the business from from 1st april 2019 to to 30 june 2019 and from 1st july 2019 to 31st march 2020 the business is done by mohan so the actual portion of mr ram is this for this 3 month only and the portion the profit portion of mr mohan for 9 months so in this situation the actual portion of mr ram the profit which is relating to 2 months which is relating to such sorry 3 months such a 3 months and the profit which is relating to the 9 months will be considered the income of mr ram and income of mr mohan and it will be taxable in the hands of ram and mohan it will be taxable in the hands of mr ram and mohan so it will be it will be assessed in the hands of these person it will be assessed in the hands of that person thus the predecessor is the predecessor who is in the business would be assessable in the respect of income of the year of the succession up to the date of succession means the income up to the date of succession will be taxable in the hands of predecessor and the income after the date of succession will be taxable will be assessed in the hands of successor the income up to the date of up to the date of succession it will be taxable it will be assessed in the hands of mr ram means the income up to the 30 june 2019 it will be taxable in the hands of mr ram because mr ram is engaged in the business till 30 june from 1st july the business is succeeded by mr mohan and now from 1st july 2019 to 31st march 2000 Twenty, the income which is relating to such business will be assessed in the hands of Mr. Mohan. It will be taxable or it will be assessed in the hands of Mohan. So, where a person carrying on any business, any profession or any vocation, and such business, profession or vocation succeed by a, another person who continue to carry on that business or profession, both the successor and the person means predecessor shall be assessed. in the respect of actual share means they will be assessed for their actual share for their actual share and such actual share will be considered his income or the amount of profit and gain for the previous year thus the predecessor in the business would be assessed means the income income up to the date of succession up to the date of succession will be assessed in the hands of predecessor and after the date of succession the income will be assessed in the in the hands of successor in the hands of succession successor so accordingly ac according to this the income of the year in which the succession taken place when there is any succession taken place then the income then the income will be apportioned between the two parts the income will be apportioned between the two parts and it will be apportioned between successor and between predecessor means if um, there is the total amount of profit total income or total profit the total profit for the example 5 lakh rupees 5 lakh rupees is the total amount of profit till 31st till 30 june the profit is 2 lakh and from gen from 1st july 2019 to 31st march 2020 the profit is 3 lakh rupees then it will be assessed in the hands of it will be assessed in the hands of ram and it will be assessed in the hands of mohan it will be assessed in the hands of mohan and it will be assessed in the hands of mr ram 
in the hands of yeah so there is the proportion of the income there is the pro proportion of the profit and the proportion is made between the predecessor and the successor the a portion is made between these two person predecessor and the successor so accordingly the income of the year in which succession taken place will be a portion into two parts and it will be a portion between the succession or the predecessor with the share of each the income must be completed computed separately and each must be granted the deduction and the allowance applicable to them applicable to him means the income will be compute separately and they will be eligible for the deductions and for the allowance which are applicable to them which are available to them the assessment of each of such person must be separate and distinct means the assessment will be made separately and distinct so when there is any business there is any profession or there is any vocation which is succeed which is succeed by the another person then the income then the income of the succeed business will be taxable in the year of succession the amount of income will be taxable in the hands of predecessor as well as in the hands of successor successor and such income will be the total income means the income of such year the profit of such income will be a portion between the paid receiver and the succession and the actual part of these person will be taxable in the hands of these person only in the hands of these person only now we will discuss assessment when paid receiver cannot be found assessment in the case when the paid receiver cannot be found when the paid receiver cannot be found so where the predecessor cannot be found where the predecessor cannot be found then the assessment of the income of the year in which the succession takes place took place up to the date of succession means the when there is a, there is a no predecessor the predecessor the predecessor cannot be found means the predecessor is not available so the so the assessment of the income income up to the date of up to the date of succession because up to the date of succession the income will be taxable it will be taxable in the hands of succession so in the hands of predecessor in the hands of predecessor just like that the succession was taken place on 1st july so before 1st july the income will be taxable or assessed in the hands of mr ram who is the predecessor so if a predecessor predecessor is not found it is he is not there so in this situation the assessment of the income up to the date of succession up to the date of succession and of the one year preceding the year of succession or uh, and up and of the one year preceding the preceding the year of succession just preceding the year of succession should be made it should be made means the assessment should be made on the succession successor means the assessment of the predecessor shall be made on the succession in the like manner it will be made in the like manner and to the same extent as it would have been made on the predecessor means the means if the predecessor is not found in this situation the income shall be assessed the profit of the previous preceding year will be assessed in the hands of successor it will be assessed in the hands of successor and accordingly means that all the provision will be same all the provision will be same as the provision which are applicable on predecessor when the income will be taxable or it, the income will be the income will be assessed on the hands of predecessor just like that there is a succession means there is a ram he is a predecessor and the mohan he is the successor he is the successor and uh, as per previous example the profit was total 5 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees it will be taxable in the hands of ram and 3 lakh rupees taxable in the hands of mohan now mr ram is not found means mr ram is not there 
there is no successor sorry there is no predecessor there is no predecessor so in this situation so in this situation such 2 lakh rupees will also be taxable in the hands of mohan it will also be taxable in the hands of mr mohan and all the provision which are applicable on mr ram if mr ram will be there then all the provision will also be applicable on mohan as a predecessor as a predecessor means it will be considered that mr mohan he is a predecessor as well as successor then the provision will be applicable on mr mohan as the predecessor also as the predecessor also so where the predecessor cannot be found then the assessment of the income then the assessment of the income in the year in which the succession taken place succession took place up to the date of succession up to the date of succession and the income of one year preceding just preceding the year of succession should be made it should be made on the successor in the like manner and to the extent as it would have made on the predecessor means it means the such assessment shall be made up to the extent up to the extent of such predecessor means means it will be considered that he is the predecessor and the income which will be taxable in the hands of predecessor it will be taxable or it will be assessed in the hands of successor and all the provision of such income tax will be applicable on him all the provision of the income tax act will also be applicable on him recovery of some payable by the predecessor from the success recovery of the sum which is payable by the predecessor from the successor if oh, there is any sum there is any sum which is paid by the predecessor then he has the right that he can recover such amount from the successor he can recover such amount from the successor so if the assessment has already that on the predecessor and for the either or both of the year but the sum is payable in the pursuance of each assessment year cannot be recovered from the predecessor or any person then the sum which is payable by predecessor then the sum is required to be payable by such predecessor and the predecessor he can recover the amount from successor he will recover such amount from the successor so if the assessment if the assessment already done if the assessment of such business is already done on the predecessor for either or both of the year both of the year but the sum payable in the pursuance of each assessment year cannot be recovered from the predecessor predecessor or any other person then in this situation the sum which will then the sum will be payable by predecessor the sum will be payable by predecessor and such predecessor is la is a or the such predecessor has the right to recover such amount from the successor he has the right the tax which is paid by the such predecessor he can collect it from the successor then the successor shall be entitled to recover the full amount of sum which is paid by him from the predecessor the sum means the sum which is payable by predecessor the sum which the sum shall be payable by predecessor and recoverable for successor recoverable from successor then the successor he is entitled to recover the full amount of tax which is paid by him from the predecessor if oh, the tax is paid by the successor then the successor he is entitled or he has the right that he can he can collect the amount he can collect the amount or he can recover the amount from the predecessor means the assessment is made and after the assessment the predecessor he is also liable to make the payment of tax he is also liable to make the payment of tax and uh, such a tax is paid by the successor the tax is paid by the successor in this situation the successor he has the right that he can recover the portion of the tax the portion of the tax which is paid by him which is paid by him on the behalf of predecessor and he can recover it from the predecessor he can recover it from the predecessor means if any portion of the tax of any portion of the due which is paid by the predecessor sorry which is paid by the successor on the behalf of predecessor then the success then the successor has the right or he can recover he is entitled to recover such amount full amount of tax which is paid by him from the success from the successor 
so under this section the ao is required to record a finding that the sum in the respect of income of the year of succession or the preceding year cannot be recovered from the predecessor before seeking to recover the sum from successor so under this section the ao the assessing officer he is required he is required a record is he is required to record a finding that the sum that the sum in the respect of income of the year of succession in the e of the year of succession or preceding year cannot be recovered from the predecessor before seeking to recover from such a successor means the income which is the income cannot be recovered it cannot be recovered from the succession before it is seeking to recover such sum from the successor means first the income first the tax will be will be or will be taken from or it will be obtained from successor then after the successor will recover the amount of such tax from the predecessor means first the amount will be payable by the successor then after the successor will recover such amount from the predecessor from the predecessor successor income include capital gain by the virtue of succession when there is the succession of any business means mr ram he succeed his business to mr mohan so in this situation the succession is also considered as transfer as per the provision of capital gain the succession is also considered as transfer and when it is considered as transfer then it will be then there will be the amount of capital gain then there will be the amount of capital gain and the amount of capital gain will be taxable in the hands of transfer means it will be taxable in the hands of predecessor means the person who will transfer the business so the amount of capital gain will be taxable in the hands of predecessor it will be the income of predecessor so the successor liability to tax arise also in the respect of capital gain which is arise to the predecessor from the transfer of business as the result of succession is that when the succession is taken place when the succession is taken place in the case of succession the predecessor he will transfer his business to the another person or the business of another person is succeeded by another person then it will be considered as a transfer as per the definition of transfer it will be considered as a transfer and in such a transfer the capital gain will be arise the amount of capital gain will be arise and such capital gain will be taxable in the hands of predecessor it will be taxable in the hands of predecessor so the income of the predecessor will also include the amount of capital gain the capital gain which is arise on the transfer or on the succession of business so the successor liability to pay tax arise also in the respect of capital gain means he will also make the payment of capital gain when the successor making the payment of tax then he will also make the payment of make the payment of tax on the capital gain which is relating to the predecessor and he will he is he has the right that he can recover the amount of such a tax total amount of tax from the predecessor means he can recover such amount so if there is any succession of the business then the capital gain will be taxable in the hands of predecessor in the hands of predecessor so on the basis of such discussion we have discussed section 170 of the income tax act section 170 of income tax act it says so this section is related to the succession of business means who is the predecessor who is the successor and how we will calculate the amount of income which will be taxable in the hands of successor or in the hands of predecessor and and who will recover or who will pay, pay the amount of tax and the, how the successor will recover it so on the basis of such provision we have discussed the provision which is relating to the succession of business there are some other sections which are relating to such topic kindly consider and kindly watch all the videos which is all the videos which is relating to such topic so that you can properly understand each and every concept of such a topic thank you so much for watching this video okay bye bye and have a nice day